Wesley Nurse, cornerback coach. First and foremost, uh, I'm a teacher. Um, so I'm, I try and make sure I'm teaching every time we're out there, try and make sure those guys are doing it right all the time. You know, um, I'm, I'm a detail-oriented person, so I try and make sure that we go over everything in practice, make sure that our steps are correct, we're backpedaling, we're looking at the right things, we're reading the right keys, we're being disciplined at all times. And then furthermore, you know, I, I motivate people because everybody motivated a different ways. Some guys you got to yell and scream at them, some guys you got to talk to them, but everybody's a different player. But the, the main focus is that we go out there one goal only, and that's to go out there and dominate the man from across us. And if we can do that and went, do our job um, every day out there, um, that means our teammates can trust us uh, every day when we go out there. So when they, they need a play to be made, they can always count on us. Um, I try to be personal with those guys, you know, because like I said, everybody's different. So some guys you need to talk to more. Um, some guys don't need a lot to talk to. But at the same time, no, I'm, I'm here, you know, as a soundboard and as being a mentor because I've been their, their shoes before. Um, it, it's an interesting deal because, you know, say I've been to locker rooms, I've been to trenches with certain guys, and now I can translate that into my coaching experience as we work on from day to day, which is an excellent deal because you never know what situation guys are in, but you hope you can help them out. And you, maybe you told them something and they remember, and it helps them in that situation. I just hope I can do that for these guys. How I got into coaching was actually a, kind of an accident for me. Um, when I got done playing, um, I had to do uh, summer school at Boise State still, and, and they asked me to coach in the camp, and uh, and I did, and I absolutely loved it, and I actually had an interview in uh, Chicago um, at that time, and I went there, and I, I got the job, but I turned it down because I, I knew I wanted to be a coach, and then um, I came back to Boise, and uh, I was a high school uh, defensive coordinator for a year, and then luckily uh, at the time, Coach Hawkins, um, who I played for, uh, for three years at Boise State, uh, he uh, asked me to be a graduate assistant again, and, uh, so I did that. Did that in the 05-06 season, and also the 06-07 season, um, where um, we had the pleasure of going to the Fiesta Bowl, play against Oklahoma, and had an opportunity to beat them, and we did. And then um, from there, I moved on to the Citadel in Charleston, South Carolina, as a military school, which is a little different. But I had a chance to coach uh, defensive ends down there, which was a great opportunity um, given to me by Coach Higgins. From there. Um, after one year there, I uh, went to the University of uh, Houston, uh, where I worked uh, for uh, Coach Sumlin, um, who's uh, now at Texas A&M, worked for him for three years, uh, which was a great opportunity for me to learn, you know, things in Texas, how it's done, and, you know, just, just the whole realm of, of Texas football, which is a great deal. And then, um, I had the pleasure of getting my very first opportunity to be a, um, a real assistant coach um, at uh, UC Davis. Uh, by Coach Bob Biggs and had a chance there and they embraced me with open arms and you know, I had a great experience there at UC Davis and um, now I'm here at UND and I'm happy to be here. One thing I see here at UND is just the awesome tradition and the following that, uh, that UND has day in and day out. Everybody around here in Grand Forks is, has on green and white and black and it's a great deal. So when game time comes, that means you, you know this place is going to be rocking. It's going to be a tough environment for everybody to come here and get a win.